Hey, True Believers, England teen, the homegrown tourist here. We are on our way to the Polynesian. We're going to be checking out the Kona Cafe. Hopefully they let us in. Oh, those people over there are getting laid. Yeah, it is. It is busy, so there is a chance we might be turned away here at Kona Cafe and we'll have to find another hotel restaurant. But there's plenty around. This has always been one of my favorite hotels and always one of my favorite hotel lobbies. That being said, I prefer there used to be a big waterfall right here that would flow right out to the swimming pool and I like that a little bit better than this. Like I said, 20 years since we've been here. You used to actually see the ice cream. They would put all the desserts on the table, the counter over there. Looking forward to it. We are Peach King. All right. There we go. Here's the menu. Some good stuff too. This looks interesting. It's a seafood curry. Shrimp, scallops, crab. I like coconut curry. Uh, looking at this big kahuna burger with sauteed to pastrami, corned beef, pepper jack, mustard aioli, tangy cucumber. But what really has me is uh, the char siu duck ramen or the pork belly noodle bowl. This though, the uh, pork belly was very much like what I got at the uh, Yak and Yeti though. But I, I seem to be into noodle bowls now. Yeah, but that was good. Right? It was really good. Duck fried rice with leg confit. Crispy duck spring rolls, shiitake mushrooms. To got, that just sounds good too. So, good. A lot of good stuff here. So, we'll get, give it a shot. And uh, my daughter wants me to get one of these drinks that come in a pipe, pineapple. So, maybe. Oh, go get it. Go get it. <laughs> okay gang so they brought us some Hawaiian rolls that while I was talking to the waitress about the menu uh, Gail and Elizabeth Elizabeth's with us today completely devoured it came with nut butter and uh, it's it's very delicious um, I, I, I eat the bread I'm like okay it's bread but yeah the butter's really good and uh, Apparently more is needed Someone left some on the table behind us and they're eyeing it. So I guess we should order another round Here we got the coconut seafood curry. It's the seafood coconut curry uh, soup It's got crab shrimp. What else do they have in it? Rice. Cra shrimp, crimp, rice and uh, I we usually don't get soup, but what what the heck? Um, figured give it a shot because usually we like something a little more shareable. But I think we're gonna enjoy this. We're gonna dive in and give a little review of it. I smell the curry. Okay, so there were onions in this, and they were reduced, so I was able to have some of it, but there were far too many for me to keep eating. I actually felt a little wobbly. It's delicious though. It has a nice uh, light coconut flavor to it. The and it mixes with the seafood flavor. The problem was not with me this time around. It was with Gail because there's a bit of a spice to it, and that was far too much for her. Overall, was it worth the ten dollars? I would get it again. I really would if I if I went back to Kona Cafe, which that we'll have to talk about later. So this is a fruit juice that Elizabeth had. It's got passion fruit, guava, pineapple. How's it taste? Good. Good. I forget the name of it, but it's going to be on their non-alcohol menu. 
Uh, you mind if I take a taste? No. Okay, let's give this a try. Oh, that is good. That is tasty. I don't know if that's refillable though. Without spending another five or six dollars. So take it easy. <laughs> We're cheap. Okay, so Elizabeth got the pork belly bowl. They've got the green onions in there, so if we had to share, it would be dig those out first. But this is supposed to be a little spicy. We're gonna check to see how it is for her. This is your chili oil. And then I got the duck noodle bowl. It's got egg, the duck, and everything. No onions on this. And Gail got the cheddar burger, but I see it's got that burnt cheese. Yeah, twill. So that's gonna give it a uh, that's gonna give it a good dark flavor to it. We had something like this at uh, at another place. It's gonna be really good. I think you're gonna enjoy that. The Italian. All right, so we're gonna jump into these and uh, we'll give our review. Gail has been on a hamburger kick. She wants a real hamburger, you know, not for McDonald's or anything like that, but real beef put together, and she loved this. And yes, that cheddar, it's uh, burned cheddar twill. That adds such a dark flavor to the burger. It, it was well worth it. She loved it, wolfed it. Uh, fries were fries. There was nothing special about that. However, she would go back for that burger or try another one there if she, if we go back. There was a sweet flavor to mine. I, I kind of, I really did enjoy this. This was a good meal, uh, and it's very filling, very pleasant. The the egg add, adds a thickness to the broth as well as a, uh, but also I added the chili oil. Elizabeth didn't want her chili oil, so I added it in to make it a little bit more spicy. If you could do that, you can request it. I would recommend it if you like spicy food. I do, and thoroughly enjoyed this. Now, Elizabeth said she really liked her pork belly noodle bowl. I thought that that's not real pork belly. That's just chopped up pork. It, it didn't have that uh, same consistency or anything as pork belly does. She liked it when I tried it. And yeah, I tried the other side away from the onions. Um, I found it to be, I don't know, a little sourish. It was weird. It was a weird flavor to me. I think the chili oil would have uh, fixed it to tell you the truth like the darker flavor of the chili oil mixed with the sourness of what there what, what was there would have balanced it out she enjoyed it but, but considering I came right off my uh, char siu duck I didn't so take that how you will okay so they've got these tiny little dessert cups they're five dollars each we got the uh, key lime and then this is a s'mores pudding and uh, we're going to give it a try. I already took a bite of the key lime because I'm not very good at this job. And it tastes good. And uh, it had an edible flower on there that tasted like a flower. It has these little orange boba on top as well because boba is a thing. So there you go. We're going to finish them up and uh, give a review probably in the car like we usually do. Alrighty, I guess I better start with the key lime. That's the first one I dug into. I really just wanted to try it out and forgot to take a picture while it's all whole. It did have the flour and everything. It's very good. It really did uh, have a nice, smooth uh, key lime flavor to it. The boba added a little bit. That was a green tea chocolate flour on top right there, you see. The s'mores, I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate, but uh, this was good. It did mix with the uh, roasted marshmallows on the top, and there's another layer in the middle of it just to help break up the richness of the chocolate. And both of these, these desserts are very rich. They're small, but they're actually shareable because of their richness. I could actually see, like, if it was just me and Gail, we could have gotten one, we would have been happy. So be careful about that if you do go to the Kona Cafe, because that will get you. <laughs> and just kind of to wrap this whole Kona Cafe review up, I don't know if I got my money's worth. When I walked out of here, I felt like maybe we spent a little more than we got, so it's a bit pricey. Uh, and occasionally that happens. I, I figure, you know what, I better start mentioning this. Is it worth the price? Did I really feel like I got... Because sometimes, and it doesn't even matter if it's a sit-down restaurant, sometimes I feel yes, sometimes I feel no. I Like I said, if it's a quick service, the Voyager at SeaWorld is one of the best restaurants in any theme park 
and that's a quick service. So that doesn't really matter uh, or affect the decision. But this was good food. It was all right. This was not $10 worth of soup. That's one of the things that bothered me about it. And I'm thinking it could also be sticker shock because we did get dessert. We did get appetizer. And sometimes Gail and I will reserve ourselves to either one or the other to, to save money. My daughter was there. She hardly ever comes out with us. So there was a bit of splurge. So that might be part of it. But I, I do have to admit, I did not feel I got my money's worth. Would I go back? Maybe. There are some things I would love to try there. But I would definitely watch my spending a little bit more because, I, I like I said, I, I want to make sure. I want to make sure next time. So anyway, what do you think? Have you been to Kona Cafe? And if so, do you think it's worth the money? What did you get? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to click like and share. That's very important for the algorithm, YouTube. That'll help out the uh, channel here. And... Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it already. And more importantly, click that notification bell. Make sure your notifications are on for YouTube. Go on over to Patreon or to Ko-Fi and drop a dollar in the till. Maybe even commission a video or something. I'd like thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.